Now, from WYDC-TV, this is Big Fox News at 10. Good evening, I'm Marissa Sarbach with Big Fox News. The Elmira man found guilty in the Xbox murder case will serve 25 years to life in prison. A jury found Akeem Williams guilty last month of murder and criminal possession of a weapon. On June 23rd, 2016, Williams confronted Tico Head over a missing Xbox system. Head died from a single gunshot wound to the chest during the argument. This was Williams' second trial. He was originally tried in August. However, a jury was unable to reach a decision at that time. The Sayer teen accused of abandoning her baby in a bag behind a home in Elmira has pled guilty to attempted murder. Hoyt pled guilty to second degree attempted murder in exchange for a nine year prison sentence. Hoyt was originally charged with attempted murder, reckless endangerment and abandonment of a child. Hoyt admitted to leaving her seven month old daughter in a plastic bag for more than 72 hours behind a home on Walnut Street in Elmira. The baby was found by neighbors and after being treated at Strong Memorial Hospital, the baby was put into foster care. Police have arrested an Elmira woman in connection to a Paw Patrol themed event that turned out to be a scam. 30 year old Nicole Widrig is charged with first degree scheme to defraud. Authorities say Widrig hosted a Paw Patrol themed event at the Elmira Heights American Legion on November 19th. After the event, the sheriff's office received numerous calls from individuals that attended reporting the event was a scam. Nearly 400 people attended that event. Some purchased raffle tickets and some purchased 50 50 tickets for prizes that were not not provided until days after the event and some not at all. Woodrig was released on appearance ticket and will reappear in court at a later date. Well, it looks like it's going to be a chilly weekend. Chief Meteorologist Chris Summers is in next with your Big Fox forecast. Here's your local stock market update from Big Fox. Now, your Twin Tiers forecast from Big Fox. And welcome back, everyone. A good Friday evening to us. A cold day out there today, temperature-wise. We had highs in the 30s here late this afternoon. Many, many places in the low 30s, like Elmira at 31 degrees, Corning 35, 31 Ithaca, and 30 degrees in Bath late this afternoon. Temperature-wise, going to stay on the chillier side for the weekend. May bring a little light snow or some flurry activity into our forecast. As we head to Sunday, looks like a little better chance of some snow, maybe adding up to maybe an inch or two by the time we get to early next week. Before tonight, another cold one back in the teens, 17 degrees by early tomorrow morning, partly cloudy skies, south southwest winds less than five miles per hour. Now for your Saturday, we'll get back in the upper 30s at least, partly to mostly cloudy skies. As we head through the day, we'll go for mostly cloudy 20 at 7 o'clock by noon, 36 mostly cloudy skies and then back to 30 by 5 o'clock in the afternoon. But again, high temperatures about 39 again, south winds around five, maybe seven miles per hour. It's really not too bad of a way to start our weekend. It will be chilly though with temperatures in the upper 30s. It looks like uh, breezy and cooler weather moves back in on Sunday. Could see a few snow showers, maybe a couple flurries around Sunday. Looks like a little better chance of some snow overnight Sunday into early Monday. But again, right now looking like maybe an inch, maybe two inches of accumulation, but it will turn windy. That is for sure. Those winds will really pick up here over the weekend and especially by early next week. So some snow down to our south and to our east. Again, we're kind of right between two systems. We're actually going to enjoy a very nice day on Saturday. But as this low pressure system moves over to Lakes in on Saturday, bring some snow showers to western parts of New York. And then as it actually starts to kind of die out, should come through our area on Sunday again, bringing some flurries or light snow activity to our region. A little bit better chance of maybe an accumulating snow of an inch or two on Monday. Overnight tonight, though, cold temperatures out there. Yeah, teens to 20, partly cloudy skies as we head into the day on Saturday. Then we'll go from mid to upper 30s. Mostly cloudy skies expected 30, 39 the high temperature here in Elmira for the seven day forecast and more chance of some snow showers or flurries on Sunday 35 again a little better chance of maybe up to an inch of snow on Monday with temperatures in the mid 30s. We'll stay in the mid 30s for Tuesday. Still could see a little flurry activity around and it really drop temperatures on Wednesday into the mid 20s with a few flurries out there and could see those temperatures at least get back in the low 30s for the end of next week. But definitely a lot of cold temperatures and a, lot, well, a couple chances of some snow. But right now not looking like going to add up to too much, maybe an inch, maybe two inches 
on Monday, and that'll probably be on the grassy surfaces too. So something to keep an eye on. A few flurries around the area this weekend. But it's absolutely interesting that the south actually has snow right now, and, and <laughs> we're not there yet. <laughs> yeah, it is hard to believe that areas that haven't seen snow in 30 or 40 years are actually seeing snow from the system that came through that area. And actually down in Brownsburg, uh, Brownsville, Texas, way down mm -hmm. in southern Texas, they haven't seen snow in 40 years. Absolutely. So All right. hard to believe. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. Well, a trio of baby birds stole the show Thursday at a golf course in Johannesburg, South Africa. Golfers quickly figured out that something was foul as three little ducklings made their way onto the green. Now, the baby birds scampered out onto a putting green, and like the putting surface, they were pretty fast. Now, finally, they were helped on their way by a caddy with a towel, which we will call them some lucky ducks indeed. <laughs> <laughs> cute little things. I'm Very sure they're cute. just looking to find their... Mommy or daddy kind of got lost on the green, but it was nice that the caddy helped them along with a towel. And, and not not their mom. But that, <laughs> that's right, and then made, made sure they were safely uh, ex exited off that green, which is good. Very cute. All right, well, thanks for joining us on Big Fox News. Have a great night.